you have these sort of dual roles as a, as a coach and as a father. Uh, in, in the the interviews and, and sort of the on camera portions of, of this film, uh, were there any sort of conversations about you know in in, in this in this scene, you know, when you answer a question as a father or as a coach, or or in your mind, are those just kind of blended? No, it just kind of blended in. Lara, Lara just let us be us. I mean, her whole thing about uh, making a film with myself and my wife was we said just we'll, we'll go along with everything you want to do, but just just let us be us and film and film mm -hmm. us and our family. That's what that was a big thing. We wanted people to see us. It wasn't like she said, "Okay, you guys move this way, you guys move that way." She just filmed us being us, and I think it showed. It came out really good. She she betrayed us, maybe at a different scene. I might have said some bad words here and there, but <laughs> but she she let us be us, and and, and I think that she captured that. Mm -hmm. We're very proud of that. And and speaking of of blended and sort of having dual roles, uh, this film I think for, functions as a sports movie. It functions as a portrait of a community. It's not simply one or the other. Um, I imagine that was a goal on your part to not be sort of characterized as this is a fill in the blank kind of movie. This is something that, that, that can kind of work on a lot of different levels. Well, that's definitely why I was really excited about this. Um, you know, I, 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 if you don't know already, I have to say that I, I have a child with autism. Um, so I was coming to it, you know, with that, uh, knowledge and, um, an interest. Uh, but, I was also really fascinated by the sports story that I knew was going to unfold. Um, you know, when I met Coach Mike, uh, I was actually looking for swimming lessons for my own child, and he was forming this team at the time, and he, he said to me, this team is going to dominate the competition. Part of me was thinking, yeah, right. Um, <laughs> No one talks that way about kids with autism um, or developmental disabilities, and no one had spoken to me that way about my child before. Um, but part of me was really excited because he's a real coach. You know, you can you see it. And when I met him, I knew. You know, within moments, he just oozed inspiration, and um, just seemed like the quintessential coach, actually. And uh, I wanted to see how this was going to play out. Um, I and. I, I knew it was, you know, potentially a very exciting sports story if the high expectations that he had for these kids, you know, translated. Um, if they, you know, it's there is this phenomenon called expectation effects, um, or you know, some people call it the Pygmalion effect. You know, when a teacher or coach has high expectations for their students. Um, they can rise to the occasion. And you know, part of me, you know, wanted to see, is this going to work? You know, I, so I needed to, I needed to, to do it. 